welcome back, everyone. I am Manic Mink. This is European Vercellus 4. When we last left off, uh, we were doing quite well. We just have to uh, still go about our usual business of picking up the pieces after a war. Uh, making a bunch of stuff into cores, which means we need to spend basically all of our admin points forever. Which is really frustrating. Um, this, I'm tempted to basically get rid of... Oh, hold on. Oh, my 645 air is dead. Good. You tragically died, yeah. So, um... Bit. I get somebody a bit pricier try and cut those up. What I'm actually tempted to do, I'm actually tempted to get rid of expansion ideas and get uh, humanist would help out. Um, admin core creation cost helps out as well. Um, and that's the only or creation cost tech that we have, or the option that we have. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking, well, thinking admin or humanist. Try and get that uh, core creation cost to go down so I don't have to spend as many goddamn points on, uh... well, let's do it. So I don't need expansion anymore. I don't need, uh, exploration anymore either, to be honest with you. Um, probably getting rid of exploration would be the better option, but I don't think if I did that... 6, 9, 12, 16... How many, how many would I need for those? I think if I got rid of expansion, I'd be in a lot more trouble than if I just got rid of one of the other ones. Also, because it wouldn't actually help me out with... Uh, I like, though, that I have no overextension. Zero percent overextension, despite all these provinces. It's quite handy. I think, at least. Um, that being said, though, religious unity is getting really bad. I need to either take religious or... Well, it's 82 percent, which isn't terrible, but... Still is not the best. Keep going, make everything a core that I can. It's debatable what to do. Admin would help me core things faster. But other than that is really sort of useless. I mean, I get admin tech costs go down, but mercenaries is mostly... Gives me a bunch of mercenary stuff, which doesn't really help all that much. Let's just up our speed and keep fabricating on... Let's go Sautome, just because I know that that's something that I can actually see through. Stuff or yeah, because I'm thinking getting rid of at least one, probably both of these, honestly. G 
General has died. That was my super good general as well. for my next war, at the very least. Okay, so we have rebellions, that is fine. So another added bonus is we're actually recovering our manpower, which is nice. Could go with economic as well. Economic would help with that inflation situation and also the money situation. I like local unrest going down. Buildings, what can I build? Tech cost. In the army tradition. I can actually build a university. Because I think that's going to be the best bet for me. recover their troops, and then I'm just going to turn maintenance down, crank it down, and let, uh, let people recover there. Where are you? You are over there. There's good old, I think, Machu Picchu there. And just keep fabricating, basically, is all we're doing. Until we literally can't fabricate anymore. Uh, military tech, I want to take the next level in, because that's going to help out new units, as well as uh, combat with fire for cavalry and artillery, and shock for artillery as well. I like all those things. that. Can I even? Seriously, I can colonize up there? Holy crap, I can colonize up there. Okay. That's a thing. Um, you can mothball there. That's fine. concern with getting rid of exploration, which I would actually like to get rid of, to be honest with you, is, uh, oh, actually, I don't want to get rid of exploration. Hold on. What I want to do is from you to here, and then I want to hire an explorer. Go and explore. There is a stock exchange that was built. Oh, really? Hmm. Kind of not what I would expect to build there, but all right. So then I think I can actually get a uh, colonial nation going up north. Need 
Meanwhile, we're doing good here. I do want to build a war college because that will be a nice thing to have. Uh, meanwhile, I guess next month will be this. Better cannons. As well as go back to fabricate more claims. This is going to be, uh, interesting. I'll lose the stability because I don't have the money at the moment, and I don't really want to take any loans because I hate loans. They're so annoying. Uh, Caribbean, you are collecting that. Sure, I mean, not really doing anything, but... Okay, uh, let's hire an explorer with Diplo Power. There you go. Explorer, are you not? Are you not able to explore? Okay, so, oh, right, right. They So they changed how uh, exploration and stuff mechanics work. Um, So, explore the waters of California there, please. That is not the waters of California at all, is it? Idiot. Go and get yourself killed for that. All my boats. So they've changed how actually uh, exploration and stuff works. You don't send them to specific places, you send them to general areas. So I said, go and explore the waters off of California, and he decided that California was actually, you know, fucking Hawaii over here. Idiot. What I'd really like is for him to explore these so I can get up here, because this area looks like it hasn't been touched yet. Straight of power, yes, please. <laughs> Almost making everything into a core. Very close. Also keep an eye on money, stuff like that, because let's be honest, what I'd really like to do is uh, improve my tech situation, things like that, by getting better people, more money coming in. How is my money situation at the moment? 46 gold a month. not the waters of California. California's up here. I can see California from here. I would really love to discover Hawaii, because I think it would be useful to, uh... I hate you. France and Tapuya. Truce with us until three more years from now.
Ah, I guess that is the problem with having those provinces. I don't actually have a way to walk over to them, do I? Okay, let's do this. Uh, you and you. So now no one, hopefully, is... It's not particularly watching my money situation, but... Oh, and we're actually finished up here, so... Keep fabricating. Never stop fabricating claims. So you're going up there. Good news is I'm not actually losing any durability. I just can't stop them from being there. Well, from, from exploring. I can't actually stop the exploration. I'll have to go here, please. Thank you. Over here. Over the actual coast of California. No? Okay. Cool. Cool. Tradition, prestige. And then let's build here a little bit more there as well, please. And then a little bit more. Go, you ideas, diplomatic ideas. I'll take that, that's fine. Create a proper fleet, blah blah blah. All these things that basically I can't do at the moment. Where are you going? Why are you all the way up here? Please tell me that. Well, you are the most useless explorer in the world, I think. Can you stop and come home already or do something else? I hate you so much. Uh, siege and a bunch of money? Sure. build forts everywhere that I can. Okay, you keep fabricating. Keep fabricating. Basically all we're doing at this point is just fabricating various claims of whatever. Now if I can get any glimpse of a province over here, I can send actual freaking You know, troops, colonists, I can get anything going. Be nice. to build forts in all these provinces, but I just always feel better when I have forts there. Especially the ones that are close to my enemy here. They should at least have basic level forts. I don't know if I need anything bigger than that, but...
move up. Now I have another whole finished army. You, I can actually fit another finished army in there as well. But I'm still trying to do that. You guys are wasting my goddamn time, aren't you? So that's the thing, I don't actually know if they can, uh, if explorers can still sort of find land, uh, actually discover land provinces, because this is all terra incognita, so I can't actually... you know, explore it, unless I get a conquistador, but I don't actually know if explorers still kind of can do stuff like that. I mean, that's obviously a province there. Come on. Give me something to go on. Let me march people up there. Oh, man, what is going on? I was going to say, what is going on there in Spain? Or New Spain? Portugal ended. Occupied by the Netherlands. The Netherlands is completely occupied by Burgundy, but they must have a ton of troops down there. I didn't say we lost a claim on a province there, did we? Let's just go like this, and we'll go three, and then and we'll just build three. that. Forts everywhere still. Finish up these forts there and then we will, uh, I suppose probably wrap stuff up for this episode. Yeah, I cannot find any of that, can I? So I'm going to need to get an explorer or a conquistador to actually get me a view of any of those. Uh, I'm fine with trade efficiency guy. have to go up now. Which is okay, because we're going to be going to war with Portugal soon anyway. Liberty desire 60%. Liberty desire 23%. Portugal is allied only with France. That is spectacular. Where are you? And are you coming back down here? Because I'd love for you to come back down here. Nope, that's not coming back down here, is it? This is the waters off of Mexico, and... Okay. Pain in my ass. Okay, let's go over here. It's, of course, the most inconvenient and long way of getting anywhere possible, but... I don't really have any options, do I?
Swear to God, this is gonna kill all these guys here. Because I can't freaking get my... Yeah. Goddamn Explorer. It takes so freaking long to get anybody over here. Where are you? But now you're coming home. Wonderful. I tell you that much. Okay, so we'll pick this up next time. I'm Manic Mink. This is your Open Universalis Forum. We'll see you later. Take care.